Hey, what's up everyone? This is Brian with Superman's Comics, and in this video, I'm going to give you my top 10 comic book video games. Now, whether it's Nintendo, PC, Xbox, PlayStation, we got games for everyone. And real quick, if you're a fan of comic books, and you're a fan of pop culture, and you love a bunch of other cool stuff, please consider subscribing to my channel. That way, you'll never miss a future upload. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Coming in at number 10 on the list is DC Universe Online, or DCUO. It's a free-to-play action massive multiplayer online game. It's set in the DC Universe and it's developed by Daybreak Game Company. The player creates a new original character that interacts with heroes and villains of DC Comics. Players get to choose their character faction, whether they're hero or villain. It originally came out in 2011. It was available on PlayStation 3 and Microsoft Windows. In 2013, it became available on PlayStation 4, and as of April 2016, you were able to play it on Xbox One. Now, you don't get to play as an actual DC character in here. You get to build your own character, but you do get to fight and play alongside of DC characters. It's an awesome game, massive multiplayer online, bunch of great missions, constant updates, and it's fitting at number 10 on this list. Coming in at number 9, we have The Amazing Spider-Man. This is an action-adventure of a game. It's based on the Marvel Comics character Spider-Man, and the 2012 film of the same name. It is developed by Beanox and is also published by Activision. It came out in 2012 on the Nintendo DS, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Wii, iOS, Windows, and Android, and a Wii U version was released later in March 2013. Amazing Spider-Man's open world and free roaming, except for if you have a Nintendo 3DS or a Wii. It had a linear and same script and plot, but it wasn't open world environment. I love the open world in this. I love the Spider-Man mechanics. I loved all the web slinging. I love building the character up. It was almost like a role-playing action game. Another thing I really liked about this is you can collect full vintage comics such as Amazing Fantasy 15 itself throughout the game. It was hidden all over the maps. Either way, great game, and it comes in at number nine. Coming in at number eight, we have the Merc with the Mouth himself. That's right, Deadpool. This came out in June of 2013, originally on Windows, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360. It eventually came out on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One in November of 2015. This also came out from Activision, and it has the anti-hero himself, Deadpool, and your action beat-em-up video game with new combos that become available to Deadpool as he progresses. The game is really mature, just like in the comic, Deadpool is constantly breaking the fourth wall in the video game. If you're a fan of Deadpool, then you'll love this game, and it comes in at 8 on our list. At number 7, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Arcade Game. This originally came out as a coin-based opera game in arcades. It came out in 1989. It was developed and published by Konami. In this game, the player got to choose one of four Ninja Turtles, whether it was Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael, and you had to rescue April O'Neil and Splinter, who were both kidnapped by Shredder. This video game had classic side-scrolling action. It was later released on Nintendo Entertainment System in 1990, and then again later on Xbox Live Arcade, costing 400 Microsoft points. It was also found in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 2, the Battle Nexus. It was unlocked by finding an antique in Stage 9-1, and it turns out to be the original arcade machine, but it had altered music, and most of the voice clips were edited out. This is a fantastic game, total classic, and it comes in at number 7. Coming in at number 6, we have Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Releasing in 2000, this was available on the arcade, the Sega Dreamcast, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, Xbox, and Xbox 360. In this game, players could select a team of three characters to compete in a one-on-one -on -one battle, as opposed to the previous game where you could only select two characters. The game supports single-player and multiplayer game modes. There's also an arcade mode where the player must defeat seven AI-controlled teams to reach the final boss, Abyss, who sports three different forms. Unlike previous versions of this game, there was no specific character endings. All characters viewed the same endings as, no matter who they picked. It had a plethora of Marvel and Capcom characters to choose from, such as Spider-Man, Thanos, Venom, War Machine, Guile, Chun-Li. Unfortunately, back in December 2013, Capcom pulled the game from Xbox Live Arcade and PlayStation Network because their contract with Marvel Comics had expired. So if you had it on disc or if you bought it already, Still great at game. I like to pop mine in every now and then, but hey, this is a great game and it's coming in at number six. Coming in at number five on the list is Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the game. 
This is developed by Ubisoft Montreal and published by Ubisoft. It came out on PlayStation Network and Xbox Live Arcade in August of 2010. It's another classic side-scroller beat-em-up game. It's based on the Scott Pilgrim series of Oni Press graphic novels, which also tied into the movie that was released by the same name. Now, in this game, you can pick up the four players, such as Scott Pilgrim, Ramona Flowers, Kim Pine, or Stephen Hills, and you must battle through seven levels in order to defeat Ramona's seven evil exes. Xbox took things a step further and they released Avatar clothes and props inside their Xbox Live Avatar Marketplace, and you can also get the game's original soundtrack, and it was released on Amazon and iTunes by ABKCO Records. This game was a lot of fun, offered a lot of enjoyment, and that's why it comes in at number five. At number four, we have Injustice 2. This is another fighting game by NetherRealm Studios. It's also published by Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment. It's the sequel to 2013's Injustice Gods Among Us game. Injustice 2 storyline centers around Batman and his insurgency attempt to restore society after the fall of Superman's regime. This also had a prequel comic book series of the same name. It was written by Tom Taylor, also released at the beginning of April 2017. The game is available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Microsoft Windows, and also features companion app games for Android and iOS devices. Injustice 2 lets you pick your favorite DC heroes or supervillains, and then duke it out in their own private setting. This game is also constantly being updated and adding new characters such as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, favorite Mortal Kombat characters, and it keeps on growing from there. If you're a fan of Mortal Kombat and you're a fan of DC characters, then this game is for you, that's why it's number four on our list. And at number three, we have Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Developed by Raven Software and published by Activision, it's an action role-playing game that was developed for PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, Xbox, and Xbox 360. The game was simultaneously ported for PlayStation Portable and Wii by Vicarious Visions and to Microsoft Windows by Beanox. There was a significantly different Game Boy Advance version which was also created by Barking Lizards Technology. In this game, players could select a team of four from a range of more than 22 playable characters, allowing them to create their own superhero teams or recreate famous teams for the comic books. Bonuses were also available in forming certain groups. The game also had alternative endings dictated by the number of optional missions the player completed. The PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 versions are virtually identical with no major differences, but both platforms include Colossus, Moon Knight, and also five additional comic book missions. This game originally released in 2006, with a sequel to come later in 2009, which was titled Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2, and it was developed by Vicarious Visions, In Space, and Savage Entertainment. And at number two, we have the Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction. This was developed by Radical Entertainment and published by Sierra Entertainment. It came out on PlayStation 2, Xbox, and GameCube in August of 2005. In this game, it's an open world game where Hulk can interact with the whole environment, even when he's on a mission or when he's not. You take on game bosses such as Devil Hulk and Mercy, and then the main villain is the Abomination and General Ross. When this game released, it received huge critical acclaim. This game was truly ahead of its time. Open world, awesome destruction, great graphics, fantastic gameplay. You can go back and play it again and not be bored. That's why this is number two on our list. And finally, coming in at number one, it's not just one game, but a series of game, and we're talking about the Batman Arkham game series. This is a series of action-adventure video games. It's based on the Batman DC character. It's developed by Rocksteady Studios and WB Games Montreal, while being published by Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment. The first game in the series that came out was Batman Arkham Asylum. It came out in 2009 and was originally available on the PS3 Xbox 360, Mac and Windows, and eventually available on the PS4 and Xbox One. The first game sees Batman taking on the Joker who has taken over control of Arkham Asylum and he's trapped Batman inside. All while Joker is also threatening to detonate hidden bombs to unleash a toxin called Titan. Batman Arkham City was sure to follow in 2011 and it is available on PS3, PS4, Wii U, Xbox 360, Xbox One, Mac, and Windows. Now in this game it's set one year after the events of Arkham Asylum and it features a bigger cast of characters. Batman is incarcerated in Arkham City and he must uncover the secret behind a sinister scheme called Protocol 10. At the same time, Joker's currently dying from the unstable toxin of the Titan formula from the previous game. He injects Batman with his blood, and Batman must work to find a cure. 
Mathis as the voice talents and Mark Hamill as the Joker, and Kevin Conroy as the voice of Batman. Releasing in 2013 was Batman Arkham Origins, and it's available on PS3, Wii U, Xbox 360, and Windows. Now this wasn't developed by Rocksteady, it was developed by WB Games Montreal, and it's set five years before the events of Arkham Asylum. This was the first game in the Arkham series to offer multiplayer gameplay. In Arkham Origins, the story follows a younger, less refined Batman who has bounty placed on his head by Black Mask, drawing eight of the world's deadliest assassins to Gotham City on Christmas Eve, he encounters Joker for the first time. This game was less received than the other, mostly because it wasn't developed by Rocksteady, it's still a great game. It also didn't include Mark Hamill as Joker or Kevin Conroy as Batman, instead, we had Roger Craig Smith doing Batman and Troy Baker doing the Joker. And lastly, in June of 2015, we had the release of Batman Arkham Knight. Rocksteady was back to develop this game. It's available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. This game also reprised the role of Batman by Kevin Conroy. It also takes place one year after the events of Arkham City. Up to this point, Rocksteady had always worked with Paul Dini on writing these games, but this time for this game, they chose to work with DC mastermind Jeff Johns. The game also features great characters such as Nightwing, Catwoman, Barbara Gordon, Lucius Fox, even awesome villains such as Scarecrow, Penguin, Two-Face, Riddler, Poison Ivy, Harley Quinn, the list goes on and on. Now Rocksteady did go on to eventually develop an Arkham Virtual Reality Batman level, but I don't really consider that part of this series. But if you like Batman, if you like open world games, if you like experiencing the underbelly of Dark Gotham, then this series of games is for you. And that is why it's number one on my list. So there you have it guys, those are my top 10 comic book video games. Let me know what you guys' lists are, do you agree with this list? What other comic book games do you guys like to play? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, make sure you like this video if you've enjoyed watching it, click that thumbs up button for me. If you want to see more videos like this and comic book and pop culture related content, remember to subscribe to my channel. This is Brian with Superman's Comics, and I'll see you guys next time.